Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Brave Steve a Grape Snow Cone and Cotton Candy Gradient and I'll be using another one of those new beauty collection plates. I've started off with Super Chic Lacquer Bubble Freeze and I'm going to cap my free edge first as I like to do that with foily polishes especially. This one is so wild. I mean, I was putting it on and I was like, wow, this is really crazy looking. It's um, like a silver, but it's got so much other stuff going on in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera at any point, but it's definitely got other colors going on in it. It's blingy for sure. So I've done one coat. Now I'm gonna go in for a second coat. It's like it's got all the rainbow in it too. I mean, it's crazy. I don't. I wish I knew how to describe it to you. So there we go. Two coats of bubble freeze, and now I'm gonna top it with a, the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Being sure to cap my free edge there. So there we have our base going. And I'm gonna be using the IMK Protect Peel today. I'm just going around. I like to for sure do this step if I'm doing gradients. I have messed up in the past and not done it. And uh, you only do that once or twice. You learn. Pain therapy kicks in and makes sure you don't do it again. You want something around them cuticles. So here is Grape Snow Cone and Cotton Candy by Brave Steva. And I've got my dampened makeup sponge here. And these are like jelly hints is what Miss Tara calls them. Um, hints, tints, just got a little bit of color going on. And I'm going to start with my thumb and start dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. Up and down, side to side, and then reload that sponge. Now I have sped this video up just a little bit, just so that it wouldn't take too long to get all the way through it. I wanted to show you how I work my way through gradients. I've loaded up the sponge and now I'm going to run through the rest of the fingernails. And now I'm going to reload the sponge and instead of starting with the pointer nail or the thumb like I did before, I'm going to start on that middle nail and then move over to the ring finger, pinky, and then thumb, and then my pointer. And then I'm going to reload that sponge again. And I will be starting on another nail next. I kind of do it in order. Um, that way, when the sponge is holding the most polish, it's getting the next nail. And then working my way through all of the nails, it gets less on it. But um, I hope it makes sense. I, you know, I know sometimes I get to stammering and stuttering and don't, I don't make a lot of sense, but I do it like this so that like that pinky nail hasn't been first yet. So it got to be first and then now the thumb and then the pointer, but I just go around. I keep it in order and do rounds and rounds until I'm happy with it. And that's how we do gradients. You just keep going at it until you're pleased with the opacity of your gradient. And then at the end, I just start looking at the nails and seeing if any of them look lighter than the other ones. Kind of comparing them, seeing kind of what I need to do, which ones I need to focus on to get a little more polish on them. I'm gonna do a little bit more. And these are not really opaque polishes, so, you know, I, I knew that going into this gradient, but I really like how it turned out. I'm really pleased with how well this, I mean, you can see there's definitely a gradient line there. And I'm going to take my little tweezers and I'm going to peel off this latex. And there we go. And I'm going to go in with my cleanup, <clears throat> excuse me, my cleanup brush and do just a little bit of cleaning up here around my cuticles and anywhere that I might have gotten just crazy and got polish. 
but using the liquid latex or a tape or some kind of barrier definitely makes cleanup so much easier on these gradients. So there we go. Pretty stoked with that so far. And now I'm going to top it with some of the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Nice quick drying top coat. Top coat always smooths out the gradients and makes them look so much more seamless. So there we go. Gradient done. Ta-da! I'll be using this Beauty Collection 07 plate today. I am stepping out of my comfort zone and going to play with some of these more um, geometric designs. Um, I know I'm a swirly twirly girl, but I know I need to do this. So I'll be using my monocle stammer and the stamper and the beauty scraper in SO4 silver and in SO2 black from Nicole Diary. I'm going to stamp this in black first. And I'm doing this more full size image on two nails. And there is going to be some double stamping going on here. Maybe I should have left it with the black. I don't know. I was just having so much fun. I didn't want it to stop. So I'm going to go in with some tape get up this excess polish there we go and then now I'm gonna clean that plate off with some acetone and we're gonna do another nail in the black with this full design this plate is etched really well I had no issues with it and that is awesome line that up stamp it on there Tap it down with my finger. And now I'm going to go in with the silver and double stamp over the black. It just kind of tones down that black stamping and make it makes it just kind of... Because I'm not stamping directly over. I'm just kind of side stamping it. So some of the black still peeks out. And I really do like double stamping. I'm a little hooked on it right now. But you could totally skip this and just stamp that in black. You could have stopped right there at two nails. But I've decided I'm just going to keep going. So I'm going to use this little image on my other nails. Got to get some tape and get some of the excess off of there. And then I'm going to line that up and stamp it on there. Really liking it so far. I'm clean that plate off again and hop in there with some more black stamp and polish I'm so impressed with these plates okay there we go we're gonna get some more of that off but they're etched really well I've used a couple of them already and I'm really liking them so there we go same image on the pinky nail that's on the pointer finger and I am gonna double stamp it and I didn't side or, or kind of offset this stamp very much so I'm pretty much just covering up the black now if I had wanted to do that it would have never happened but it is what it is and we're going to continue on can't hardly see any black picking out from under that one <laughs> but you will on this one it's kind of offsetting it a little bit but I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to go in with some tape and do a little bit of cleanup. Just a little bit of cleanup with the tape. And now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and do my final tidying up here. Got my cleanup brush with some acetone. <clears throat> there we go. Get up under that because I am forever getting stuff up under my nail there. There we go. And now I'm going to top this one with some of the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. And now for some Posh, my trusty Posh Top Coat. I'm going to seal this one in and call it to done. So there you have it. But I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. I was mostly impressed with the gradient. 
<laughs> here's my swatch photo. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.